Harris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm gonna hop on back right into this. It's only been a few minutes since I made the last video, but I did promise I would do user input and not just clicks. So <clears throat> I'm gonna modify our scripts that we've done in the last video. If you haven't watched it, you should jump over to that one. And we'll take off from there to press a uh, keyboard letter in order to uh, activate one of these things based on how close they are. So let's jump back into our mono develop. And inside of our mono develop, we're going to create a function, a private function, and we're going to call it mouse input. And inside this mouse input, we're going to copy our whole if statement up here from the update function, and we're going to cut it and paste it inside of the mouse input. And then at the very top, we're going to make a public bool and say is uh, done with mouse is false. So inside of the update, we're going to say if is done with mouse, mouse input will be called. Otherwise, we're going to call this new function that I'm going to call keyboard input. So let's create a function underneath mouse input, private void keyboard input. And instead of here is where we're going to do the input for if we press a key to talk with the player. So let's create a max distance. Let's make a public float max uh, distance. And this will be for how far away from the capsule can we be before we um, before we show the text. We have to be at this distance in order to show the text from this capsule. And we'll just say one unit for now. And we made it public so we can edit it inside of the editor. So down here inside of the keyboard update, or keyboard input, we're going to say if input.get key down. And for, you can, you can make a barrage of keys, whatever you want. And when you say key code dot, you'll get a huge list of everything you can do on the keyboard. But for simplicity's sake, I'm going to say E for enter or something like that. So E. Um, or let's do a bigger button. Let's do dot space. So if I hit the space bar, it's going to execute this code. So if I press the space bar, what we're going to have to do is we have to loop through all of our characters um, in our scene, in this current scene, and we have to see which one's closest. So we're going to say for each game object, actually let's say character, because it's more important that we get the character so that we can get the, what he's saying. So for each character, C, in game object, that's capital G, dot find objects of type, Remember objects, there's two of these, there's object and objects. Object will return the first occurrence and objects will return all of them. So find of type and then say type of character. So what this will do is look for only characters in our scene and nothing else. If it's not a character, don't even consider it. So type of character as, and then we need to make character array. So now that's our for each loop. And above our for each loop, let's make a character C, uh, TMP is equal to null. So um, something else we can do is make a vector3 dist is equal to vector3.0. Dot, dot we need this distance because, um, actually, let's not make it vector3.0. Let's make it vector3. Dot, um, Let's just make it new vector three, and let's just put a hundred in each one of these. Um, actually, let's put max distance. That's why we make variables. Uh, I could go into why we're doing all this logic, um, but some of you may not even care. I'll, I'll go a little bit into it. So we put our max distance in here because if it was any greater, we are not going to search. For, we're not going to display the text anyway. Anyways, so we're only looking for things less than. So the distance, actually, let's make it float is equal to, sorry, float dist is equal to max distance, not a vector 3. I'm sorry about that. 
So if it's greater than one, we're not even going to consider it anyway, so we're only looking for stuff that is less than max distance. So if character C, let's use a built-in vector3 function. We can say if vector3 dot distance, we pass in two game objects, uh, positions, so we can say transform dot position, that's this object, which is going to be the main camera, and we're going to pass in C dot transform dot position. So there we go is less than distance and we can say less than or equal to also um, just because there may be one uh, exactly one that's gonna be a rare case but there may there just might be so if the distance is less than that what we need to do is we need to copy this distance go down here say dist is equal to that distance and above that we're gonna say TMP is equal to C and that's because temp is the closest one and so we're gonna iterate through this for each loop over and over and over again and it's gonna constantly say is the distance less than the last distance yes alright assign him he's the closest is the distance less than the last distance no skip it and it's gonna constantly say that and when we're done we're gonna have a temp character to work with so all we need to do is say clicked is equal to TMP and of course we need to do error checking so if TMP is not equal to null so if it was assigned in that loop if it wasn't that means everybody's too far if it was that means that uh, somebody's close and now clicked is equal to Tim otherwise click is equal to false and that's just what we're gonna do um, and we have it named clicked so that, since that doesn't make sense anymore, since we're now using um, keyboard input, we'll just call selected character. That makes much more sense. So let's just find all these occurrences of clicked and replace it with selected character. I press Control F if you don't know, and then drop down and do a replace all. So now our selected character will be off of keyboard input. So let's jump back, see if we got any errors. And we do. Not everyone's perfect. So that error is selected is equal to temp. Of course, so we need, the selected is a game object. So let's say temp.gameObject. Now let's jump back. And we have a Boolean here that we gotta get rid of. Is equal to false. I meant to say null, of course. There we go. So now, uh, we can see if we click on the camera we have is done with mouse and it is not checked if I check that and click these guys it's gonna show text up here in the top left if I uncheck it see when I click nothing happens I can check it again unclick check it click on these guys nothing happens but if I hit spacebar uh, you can see that nothing displays he's too far if I get closer to this guy and hit spacebar hmm nothing's happening that's not what we wanted let's debug why uh, I may pause because I am I don't know it off the top of my head but it probably has something to do with this for loop just maybe so um, give me a second so it turns out I have done nothing wrong one unit is just way too small so let's remember that for next time so let's select our camera let's change one to something like 10. So now if I hit play, I hit spacebar, you can see yo dog, and that's because this guy is yo dog. But if I stick him over here, I hit space, it says I'm lefty, because this guy is I'm lefty. If I stick him right in the middle, he's the closest to hello Danielle, so if I click, it's going to say hello Danielle. If I stick him over here, he's the closest to Ehad, if I hit space, it'll say Ehad. So you can see that now, based off proximity, I can press a key and get the what these guys are saying. So I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, shoot them over to me. And um, I hope this helped you out. So let me know if you have any feedback or suggestions. But as for now, that is all.